And he's joining us in the studio, and he has joined the literary world. I would speak of Tommy Turbo Truboyevich. Tommy, how are you, buddy? I'm very good, MJ. How are you? Mate, look, this is fantastic. The Turbo Pup. Tell us all about the how you got into writing a book. Yeah, so probably about 18 months ago, I got approached by Scholastics, and um, they thought of the idea was was to start with a kid's book and, and take kids on a journey. So um, we've come up with the Turbo Pup, really happy with how, how it's come out, and Small reports, it's, it's going okay. What's a so little CJ the pups about? Tell us what, what's the what's the pre, the preface of the of the book. So, when it all started, they wanted like an issue to tackle with a, you know racism, and I chose bullying. So CJ, a uh, bullying, yeah, so, good. Well, CJ is um, I've actually got a dog called CJ, so uh, we named it after him, and the pictures are kind of drawn on the back of him as well. And the idea is he's small, and he got he gets bullied for for being small and picked on, but he's got one special. Uh, Talent and that's he's super fast. He ends up saving the town using oh, his speed. And uh, it's a cracker. I'll have, a, I'll have a look at it. There's pictures on every page and only about two sentences, so it's good for children and the smarter NRL player. <laughs> uh, I would suggest we'll have fun. Uh, how did you find the process? Was it good fun to sit down and do something other than run headlong into big blokes? Yeah, it was. It was good fun and it's very different. Like you, you don't realise how much goes into it, and it's yeah. quite hard to to. Uh, get it right, but um, have you test have you test to run it with kids? Have you read it out loud to kids? Uh, I've read it to a couple. I'm sure that the team there did a lot more than I did, but yeah. Um, yeah, they seem to be enjoying it at the moment. It looks like a cracker. It's got a great message. The pictures are fantastic. Are you going to maybe animate this? Oh, thing? I was like Bluey, thinking that. Yeah, Bluey is an Australian dog. It's the biggest animation in the world. This, the Turbo Pup, could, could go. Next. Could go global. Oh, sign me up for it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> And I'd put myself down there well, to do some voice work. Oh, of course you would. Well, Mickey's very famous for being the only ever character in Bluey to have a ass crack exposed. <laughs> this is Mickey. In, this is Mickey in Bluey. See you, Chippy. Oh, is oh. chocolate milk? I mean, Chippy, not going with you? No, nah, he's got a lift. <laughs> That's some of the De Niro-like work I brought to the table. Unbelievable. For Bluey, uh, at the end of that episode, my character was put down. <laughs> Spent most of it wearing, wearing a bucket and trying to lick his own balls. But <laughs> beyond that... <laughs> so, what type of dog is Turbo? Uh, CJ's a Staffy. A Staffy? So I've, got, I've got a Staffy, you got a staffy? Uh, myself. Um, yeah, and that, like I said, they caught it off the back of him and the pictures are kind of... Drawn off the back of him as well, so. And like uh, Jack White, has he bitten anyone? <laughs> oh look, we're not going there. Are we? <laughs> How many? Wait and see where we're is going. this the first of many? Do you think? Well, that's the idea. They they wanted to start with a kids' book and then kind of follow the kids on, on a journey. So, um, hey, where can we get it, Tommy? Where can we get this book? I don't know every place, but uh, I know it's in Big W and, yep. and a lot a lot of bookstores. So, um, are you going to do a book signing? Yes, I am. Out? Yeah, there, I think I think that's scheduled for late October. I'm not too sure the exact date. We'll, but we'll find out. Let us we'll know. We'll find out. We'll let people know. Um, it, it'll be a load of fun. It looks fantastic. So congratulations and well done to Scholastics, uh, who have, have done a really good job uh, presenting it. The characters look like a load of fun, and you've got all types of dogs represented. So and and as you said, it's a great message. Uh, bullying. There's no more important message, I reckon, going around for kids today. I yeah, agree. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we'll get on to the footy season. Obviously, your team mainly came home with a wet sail. They were fantastic. DCE in the end, um, and Ola Kawatu in particular were fantastic. Your, your brother Jake always plays the way he played. Um, how's your peck, and how are mainly going into next season, you reckon? Yeah, it was a bit disappointing when we look back at our year. We probably didn't start the season how, how we wanted to, and we kind of you know, found our feet late and it was just a bit too little too late. So it was disappointing. We thought we were probably a good enough side to be playing finals. It wasn't the case, but, you know, it's footy. And I guess, you know, that that, that does excite me for, for 2024. We've got some new new guys coming in that will, will add to us and it is exciting. I'm on the peck, it's uh, going well. I'm probably a week or two away from playing footy. So oh, if, wow. there, if there's any sides out there, local teams that <laughs> no, need a fullback, manly, the, 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 the manly bosses have just fallen off their chairs. So no. Um, <laughs> so you're, you're having trouble with your pecs? I'm having trouble with my man boobs. <laughs> there anyone out there? He, um, there's, me there's, me there's, four te- there's six teams left. Uh, the Sharkies uh, vacated the premises. The Raiders did last weekend. How do you see the last couple of weeks of finals footy going? Is it is it a Panthers and Broncos final? I think it is. It's, they've got a week off, and they were both so good last week, and they've been the best two sides all year. So I think they're going to be hard to beat. They've got two good games of footy this week. You know, uh, the Roosters and Knights are on a really hot run, and, um, you know, Warriors and, and Melbourne are going to look to bounce back after losses. So I'm looking forward to the footy. 
More importantly, let's get on to the big stuff. Las Vegas. Hey. Uh, I believe you've been on a fact-finding mission and uh, going back to play. Yep. Yeah, well, we are playing there uh, round one next year. So um, yeah, a few weeks ago, we got asked by a few sponsors to head oh, over there on a, on, a, on a recon mission. And um, <laughs> no, they, 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 had to, they had to. They had to, had to go over, you know. I couldn't say <laughs> no, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Oh, but all right, I'll it's, do uh, it. First time over there, so I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're great guys. Um, I'm sure I'm partner, so it's great to go over there. So it's going to be a big time over there or around that time because Super Bowl yes. is in Vegas this year. You yeah. guys are going. UFC. Uh, UFC. So it's going to be happening. It's going to be the entertainment sporting capital of the world for that little window of time. Did you have a look at the grounds you're going to play on? Yeah, we did. We did. Um, we went down to the stadium and had a look. It was a yeah, cool place. Not that, not that. That that place needs any extra entertainment, <laughs> but uh, we'll hope to provide it. And you uh, would have said somewhere dingy, wouldn't you, over there? Yeah, uh, penthouse suite at the Blige. Hey! Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Turbo, you're really starting to shit me. <laughs> um, that was amazing. And uh, you got to see any? Sh- did you see any shows, or did you? Yeah, did we you? went. We went out to David Copperfield. So, oh, okay. Uh, um, I never really heard of him before, that, which, which people were surprised. I think I was a bit you know too young what? for him. But. You know, I we went, probably are, yeah. So you know why he has that wild haircut and the flashy suits with the big collars and stuff? And so when they go to his silhouette, you automatically think it's him because it's already not him. Right. But you're so trained to, That's to you... understand what wow. the guy looks like that when you see a silhouette of someone who looks like that, you don't realise he's already run up the back of the room yeah. and oh. about to come in on a flying fox. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it for anyone. <laughs> you might have had a couple of drinks, mate. You might have had a of mate, I'd had a couple of drinks when I went to his show, and I tell you, it's very hard to follow. There's lots of lighting. There um, is, isn't there? Oh, I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, he's trying to distract you at every point. We were, I was at one in Melbourne, and uh, they had a guy. He goes, oh, let's pick someone at random from the audience. Uh, what's your name? It's Malcolm, sir. And I go, okay, that's a giveaway. An that's an American guy. No one in Australia is going to call you, sir, David. Hey, Congratulations you, on this book. It's the Turbo Pup. If you've got kids, no kids, I want to buy a present for a kid. I couldn't think of anything sounder than this particular book. It's out now. Go ahead, Tommy. Thanks, guys.